Hi, it's Tanya here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today we're going to do an all cream look that I promised you and I had this idea um, from reading your comments. So thank you so, so much for all your comments. Um, they inspire me. And so feeling inspired, I wanted to do the all cream look. And I had been asked quite some time ago to do demo like cream blushes because I think some people use um, creams exclusively and I have always been a powder girl. So uh, let's use the cream. So we're going to do a full face of creams and no powder. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to set my... Um, how you know how I set if you watch me on my channel you know how I set my um, my eyelids for prep my eyelids for my eyeshadow so we are going to put on concealer but we're not going to set it today yikes I don't know how that's gonna be but we also have cream eyeshadow okay so I did it so if you watch the last video on shop with me um, that was the whole thing of course, I showed you other products in there, and I'm going to be demoing those on different videos. Oh, and before I forget, if you watch my video on um, taming gray hair, um, I showed you the uh, Suave Sleek Anti-Frizz. And remember, I told you I would try it on damp hair. Um, I had been applying this to dry hair to do a few styles and keep the frizzies away. But I had never tried it on damp hair after I got out of the shower. I tiled, uh, towel dried my hair. Sometimes I love the tea. <laughs> and um, I put a little teeny bit, probably about that amount, uh, rubbed it into my hands, rubbed it through my hair, and I love it. Look at my hair today. Okay, it is flat ironed, of course, as well. But remember all those frizzies I had? man it looks good and it's silky and it really looks good so you don't want to use a lot does this product weigh your hair down if you put it in damp hair no it does not only use a little bit though and it won't it'll be just fine so um because i have thin thin hair and if i put too much goop in my hair it's a goop city so um, it does work, and I just wanted to tell you that because I promised you that I would tell you what happened with that. So there we go. All right, so before we get started, we're going to do a little um, more prepping on my face than I do as normal. Right now, all I have is my oil of Olay lotion on my face, but we're going to do um, a little bit more preparation. Um, I watched a few videos of women shaving their face, and... Uh, I do do that sometimes, but I don't actually use any razors. I use this little guy here. This is the Conair. Um, I'm sure you've seen these little buzzers, little trimmers. And that's how I shave my face. So I saw Mary Lou. I don't know if you watch her. I'll link her video down below. Mary Lou put like shaving lotion on her face like a man and she shaved her hair like you know like a uh, her hair <laughs> her face <laughs> like a man with a razor and I was like okay I don't think I'm gonna go that far um because it your your hair doesn't grow in coarser or thicker you don't have any more black I get these black hairs coming out of my um chin hair they're really lovely not <laughs> and um, some are a lot of them are white now and um, they're very coarse and so I pluck them and to do that I use a 20 um, a 20 magnification suction mirror and these you can get at Walmart 20 is good um, you're really gonna get in there and you're gonna see some stuff maybe you don't want to see uh, yikes anyway leave that off for now so back to this so what I like to do is I have a lot of peach fuzz peach fuzz so I'm gonna pull my hair back here you know what we're gonna pull it back just a little bit further so we can we're gonna be working with liquids today and who knows where they're gonna go all right so um, I shaved the peach fuzz here. There's peach fuzz up here. 
And so I like to make this all smooth in here. I'm sure that there's some of you out there that have this too, you know, so because this is where my eyeshadow goes and I want it to be smooth. The more hair that's there and sometimes I'll do this. Don't do it like this because you may take off some of your brow. I did that before. So go like this and just go back and forth right here if you get those hairs, the dark hairs that grow in between there. The unibrow. And then I kind of just shave all this peach fuzz off here. And you gotta be careful because you don't want to take off any more eyebrows. <laughs> Lord knows I don't have any. So I'm just gonna go in there and I'm just gonna clean all this up here. Get rid of that peach fuzz. I do this periodically. I don't do this every day. I probably do this maybe every three days. And lately I've been so busy over the holidays I haven't had time to really do it. But there you go. So and and this is great. You can use it here. You want to shave down some of the hairs here. You've got the black hairs and you can't see, you know, from plus. You don't want to, it's hard for you to see. Just get one of these. And if you know you have um, black hairs here, and I do. So it's not a full-blown mustache, thank gosh. But I have them. And so I just clean them up with this. It takes a few minutes and you can do this blind. So you don't have to really see what you're doing, which is the plus point. And then sometimes I'll take off some of the, the hair around here, around my chin line with it. Just get off some of the peach fuzz. But normally I don't do my whole face. There is quite a bit of peach fuzz here. I don't know if you can see it, but you can. You can do your whole face with this. It's great. And this is, um, they sell these for women too. This is a man's one. I don't know why I bought it. I just wanted black. They have pink ones and purple ones. And um, Anyway, I will um, try to get the link, a link to somewhere where you can buy these and put it down below for you. I don't have any affiliate links functioning on my channel at the moment. Um, I used to have them. I had a Target one and I had an Amazon one, um, but I don't really have. So my links are generally non-affiliated, meaning I just go online, find where you could buy it and post it. So if you click on it, I don't, um, it's not sponsored by me. I don't make any money at all. It's just, I just put stuff there that maybe is kind of hard to find in the store. And most of the stuff I won't put a link on if, if you can get it at CVS, Walgreens, just when you're out doing your weekly grocery shopping. A lot of the products I use are drugstore, so you can just pick them up when you're at the store. So, um, so I don't see the need for links at this time. So if you've ever wondered why, why didn't she put links to everything? <sighs> That's why. <laughs> All right. A lot of it you can find in the store. Unless you're an exclusive online shopper, that could be too, I know. Alright, so, we've cleaned up our face. We've got all the peach fuzz off. Yay, peach fuzz off. Alright, so here we go. Um, whoop, do, do, do. Eyebrows. Eyebrows, yes. I've whipped open a new NYX pencil in tape. Love this pencil. I didn't have it for one day, and... The sun stopped shining. <laughs> I missed it so bad. I was like, oh my god, I love that color. Oh, okay, so we're doing the lines again. Lining them up with our eye where our eye starts. Uh, go in the corner, cross the pupil for the arch. I should do more of a definite arch, but I don't always do that. There we go. Oh, that looks good. Alright, let's do this. Alright, so you've seen me do this a while, I know. <laughs> the boring part. Sculpting brows out of nothing. Okay. 
going to set this up here. So I hope all of you had a great holiday. And or at least at at very best a relaxing couple days. You know, it's the end of the year and um you know, you just kind of just kind of I'm usually very very motivated to like um start projects, do projects, and, but at the end of the year, it's like, you know, I'm going to start that in <laughs> January. <laughs> there we go. So, it's kind of like a little bit of a vacation to have a couple days. I mean, I work almost every day except for Christmas Day. But uh, it's nice to allow yourself some space, you know? Space to reflect on the year that have went by, the goals you've achieved, uh, you know, thinking about the future and what you would like to do and all of that. So. And so I wanted to post video every day till the end of the year. I thought it'd be nice, you know, um, to do, to be, see how it goes. See how, like, like, how many videos can I actually do? The great thing is I've actually, technically, the video that you watched of me shopping, that one I edited. That's the first video I've ever taken a clip out of. I've never done that on any of my other videos. I usually just shoot and go. So um, that was um, a little bit of a learning curve, learning um, how to do that. But I felt like it worked all right, and it's not perfect, but. All right, what do you think? Looks pretty good to me. It's a pass. Oops, let me see. Do you guys have one side of your face that kind of droops? I feel like, which side is it? Well, oh, this obviously is more droopy than this side. Interesting. Why can't it all be symmetrical? All right, I started watching a new influencer this year. Glitzy Fritzy. I don't know if you guys watch her. Oh my gosh, is she entertaining? Holy cow. She's spunky. Love her. Anyway, um, all right. So, um, oh, okay. So I'm demoing a new, drum roll, please. <laughs> I'm demoing a new concealer. This is the Joa Wand Me Up Concealer. And I love the packaging. It's really glorious. It's nice and weighty. It's just really nice. Do you know that Kiss makes this? I think it said Kiss on the back. Yeah, it says Kiss right here. Kiss makes this. Same brand that makes eyelash glue and all of that. Huh, interesting. It is cruelty free. This color is ivory. Oop, are you seeing that right? Yeah. All right, so I, I used this yesterday and I actually really like it. So um, it seems like and I'm going to hold my final evaluation of this product. Um, till later, till it's it's survived the three day uh, challenge. Um, but I think it's a lot like the Maybelline Fit Me. Um, it it sure acts like it. And it's nice and moisturizing. It's not too drying. The only thing is, last night when I got home from work, I had one side Maybelline Fit Me and one side this. I forgot to see in the mirror, fail. I forgot to see before I washed off my makeup if it settled into my fine lines and wrinkles. So I was like, oh boy. Okay, so tonight I won't forget, hopefully. 
<laughs> I'll check it and I'll see if it worked. If it did, I think we have a new best friend. <laughs> All right. It feels a little tackier, which is probably not going to be good for this look today because we're not powdering anything. Oh, no. We're not. And I want to so bad, okay? I want to powder. I want to powder. So we're going to have to let this, I won't say dry down, but oh, it's tacky. Oh, ladies, I may have to break my no powder rule just on here. I probably should have got... Um, I probably should have got an eyeshadow primer for this no powder look today because I don't know this is pretty tacky but we're putting liquid on top of it so let's hope it works all right if it doesn't I'll report back to you but for now we are sticking with the plan all right so next thing we're doing is okay so this is interesting if you don't use powder on your face or on your eyelids for eyeshadow you don't have to worry about fallout so you can put your foundation on now if you'd like or you can put it on later doesn't matter that's a plus point and another plus point is you don't have so many products i mean i'm only going to be using like this many products <laughs> all right so let's put on the foundation okay this is it this is my friend and I've showed you it before so if you want a good foundation this is good medium to full coverage and it's buildable it builds up to full coverage uh, the true blend matte made cover girl foundation comes in 40 colors this is L40 ivory uh, is it called ivory yes no yes no classic ivory all right and I'm going to put it on with a sponge since I like to do that um should I put it on for a brush with a with a brush for you guys on okay I'll put some on with a brush and some on with a sponge and then I'll take a look and evaluate and I'm using the BH Cosmetic uh, brush here. This is the flat head. And this is this one here. I got it at Kohl's. It was $25, but it was on sale 50% off. So it was $12.50. And I used my Kohl's coupon, which means I paid $2.71. And that's my kind of shopping. <laughs> All right. So, and it comes in this cute helographic bag. Oh, these brushes are great. BH Cosmetic Brushes, wonderful. So next time you're in Kohl's, get yourself a pair of sneakers and you want a good brush set, walk on over to that aisle and sometimes they have them 50% off, 20% uh, off, 30% off. I've seen all kinds of person, you get a nice brush set. Um, anyway, so, and then I'm going to use a sponge from Beauty 360, which I think, Beauty 360, and that is a CVS brand, yes. And uh, they have these round ones in here, but I don't, I, they have all kinds of shapes and colors, so they're great. So I'm going to take this round one, and I'm going to actually cut it to suit me. I'm going to make a triangle out of it. Let's do that. Boop, kind of like Pac-Man. <laughs> okay, so because I like to get into the corners and stuff. So, oh, that's a plus point. You could take this baby. And you can, if I cut that right, I could probably get three pie shapes out of that and make that sponge do double duty, <laughs> triple duty for it. Okay, so here we go. We're going to put, uh, I'm just going to, oh, you know what? I, I forgot to wet my sponge. Wet the sponge. I always have a little thing of water. These I get at the dollar store, these little sprayers in, in the bathroom section. And I put water in because I use them to mist my face too. So wet your sponge. Put a little bit of foundation on it. Starting with a little droppy. Okay, this side we're going to use the sponge. Pat, 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 pat. This does have a little bit of a fragrance. It's the classic CoverGirl fragrance. If you've ever used their classic foundation, 
Um, it's funny because they don't change the shape of that bottle. It's kind of that triangle-like bottle. That bottle is like... Uh, I mean, you definitely smell the polymers or whatever those are in there. But we're just going to pat this on. Ooh, I'm going to do, so since I'm doing one side of my face with this little guy, and you can use whatever sponge pleases you. <laughs> you know, if you like the big bouncy ball sponges or the those ones with the, I like the ones that are um, teardrop shaped. Those are nice too because you can get it everywhere. This is kind of small. I cut this kind of small. I should have cut a bigger triangle, but anyway, it'll work. Oh, so I just had an idea. You could cut these and make a mini just to use for your concealer. Huh. That's right. You could customize it. I love customizing stuff. All right. So I'm putting this on half my face. A oh, little bit of thing there. I'm going to put a little bit more. I feel like I want more today. Like, let's cream it up, baby. Now, if you have age spots, hyperpigmentation, you may want to take a little bit of your Maybelline Fit Me or something. And, um, like, I've got an age spot here. I don't know if you see that right there. So when I get done doing this, if it's not enough, I'm going to hit that with a little bit of concealer. Okay, and you might want to do that before your foundation. I'm going to start dragging this. But this is interesting because you're going to see half my face with foundation and half my face without. You know why I love makeup? Because I watch Rockstar Mom. Have you guys seen Rockstar Mom? I've mentioned her before. Love her, Patty. Hi, Patty. <laughs> I wonder if she watches my videos. Um... Anyway, she, um, you know, it's just what she does with makeup is just flipping magic. You just watch a couple of her things, and even if you don't wear makeup, you might even start wearing makeup because she just does magic with her face. She's amazing. Oh, and she's such an amazing person, peppy, lively. I think out of all the YouTube video people, if I could meet somebody, I think I'd like to meet Patty down to earth just love her okay how does it look half my face no foundation foundation have we achieved a smooth look all right let's get that little boop better yes sometimes they put more i've seen people put more concealer on after they found after they put foundation on Let's do that. Brighten the under eye. Oh, nice. Okay, I like it. Without? With. Without? <laughs> With. Okay, let's get started. All right, so now we're going to try it with this. Should I moisten this? Hmm, I will. Just water. <coughs> I'm just going to, oh, you know what I could do? I could put it on a little <clears throat> something. Uh, I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand right there. And then I'm just going to go into it like this. Let's see how this works. Stipple, stipple. Wow, it seems like a lot faster application when you're doing the brush. A lot faster. Okay, there you go. There's a tip for speed makeup, especially if you are in a hurry one morning getting ready for work or what have you. You can uh, stipple so much faster. Look at that. It took me a while to get that other stuff on. The other side, right? This is quicker. All right, now I'm going to have to look in my mirror because I'm going to have to evaluate for myself here which side I think I look better. And I have a magnified mirror here. So which side? I think I'm going to need more. I'm putting more on. I want to cover today. I just feel like it. 
You know how sometimes you just want... Okay, maybe I'm putting too much on. <laughs> Get up into the hairline. I am tempted to buff this in. Hmm. Okay, let me assess this now. I don't know if I did it in the hairline over on this side. It seemed like that that sponge didn't really allow me to get too much in the hairline. All right, I gotta put on my glasses so I can see which side I like better. Hmm. Okay, I like I like the sponge side better. And the reason is, I don't know if you can see that right in there. See that? It's kind of separating. It's kind of clumpy over here. It's smooth. So um, sponge is better. And you don't want to put too much product on because then it just looks like you're wearing a bunch of makeup and you really don't, you know? And then it gets hung up in the peach fuzz and it just doesn't look good. And I don't think there's any spots on this side that really bother me. Got a little dark one there. Just cover that up. Close it there. Okay. All right, I think we're done with that step. And we're not going to powder, and it's so weird. I almost feel like, oh my God, we're not powdering. What do I do? <laughs> what do I do? No, we're not powdering. Nope. But I feel like something is wrong. <laughs> I'm not powdering, you know? It's weird when you change something like that. And you're so used to like, swirl, tap, buff. I've been swirling and tapping and buffing for like years. All right. Oh, and my lids are still sticky. Oh, ladies, what do we do? What do we do? Do we break a little bit of a rule? Just a little bit? Okay. No. <laughs> We're going to keep our promise. It's an all cream face. <laughs> All right. All right. So blush. Here we go with our blush. This is the Wet n Wild blush in, and I'll put all this down in the description box below as always. 803 Floral Majority. Oh, that's cute. I don't know how to use this. How do I use this? Uh, Hmm. Do we put it on our fingers and then see? I feel like I'm in the alien world right now. Oh, okay. This one's a little bit more peach than I thought. No, no. Can you see that? It's the, an, another problem we have here is that on camera, it. Oh yeah, I can see it. Um, on camera, you have to wear almost twice as much makeup for me to show you what I'm doing. So I'm going to pack it on. I'm packing it on, but what I just did is sufficient. Just a few taps of it will give you a nice little glow there. But for the sake of you seeing what I'm doing, I'm putting this baby on. You don't want to go too far in. You know what I notice what makes me look clownish is if I go past my pupil. If I put the color past the pupil, um, it starts to look clownish. So let's keep it back here, back and up. There's a bone right here. Now they say put it on this part. I don't know. I'm in disagreement with that. I was wearing my makeup like that yesterday on the apples. These are the apples, but it looked clowny. I didn't like it. So I'm going to keep it back here, half my eye right here. All right. What do you think? It, this color, uh, okay, let me give you my evaluation on this color. This color looked pinkish. Let me swatch it. But, yeah. See that? It's kind of a very nice pink. Let me swatch it on my wrist. Perhaps that will give you a better. More, 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 more. There. So it's peach. It doesn't look peach. Well, maybe it does. Peach pink. It's peach pink. But that's okay. 
So is it the best color? Mm, don't know. They did have another one, but it was expensive. It was $15 for the round ones, and it was CVS, and they had it on a lower shelf. And what was it called? Velvet or something like that? I have to check up on that. So, but since you're not using wearing so much makeup when you wear all cream, maybe you could splurge on a on a expensive one. So go to Ulta, go to Sephora. They probably have more cream um, stuff there. Oh, LA Girl also has stuff, and they have pinker ones. I would go for a pinker one myself. That's just me. But if you like this kind of natural corally look, then it's fine. All right, so that's good. Again, I'm going to put a little bit more on. See it? Now you can start seeing it. See? That's pretty. Okay. Natural glow. I'm curious to see how all this cream stuff wears during the day. If my, felt, if my face melts off or not. If everything melts. Ugh. Okay. That's pretty. So here's my thoughts on the cream. Just by applying and looking at it in the mirror and seeing it, what it does is it feels like it gives you more of a glow from within rather than a top glow. Um, it feels like you have more control of the product and it doesn't look, it blends better, if that makes any sense. So the areas that you stop and you're not putting product, it blends better. Um, where powder, it has a, has a harsher edge, I think, because it's like it goes to a certain point and it like stops and that harsh edge um, is hard to make look natural. So it feel, it appears like, or this is what I'm experiencing right now by using cream versus powder is that the cream has a blend down, if that makes sense, a smear down where the powder has an edge. So you have to, um, you have to work it a little harder. I mean, I did, I was working, I was doing a lot of pitter pattering with my hands, but anyway, there we go. So, but we want to do a natural look today. So this is not only like cream, but it's like the healthy glow, natural look for women who are older. Now I have my LA, uh, uh, LA Girl Velvet Highlighter, and this is also a cream product, and I love this product. Let me show you that. So I see it has some glistening, but it's not over the top. And instead of smear, just doing this, I'm going to put it on my finger, and I'm just going to apply it to the bone here. And just give us a little bit of, see that? Just a little bit of sheen there. Not sheen, wrong word, just a glow. We want a glow. We don't want anything wild. After all, I'm not in my 20s anymore. All right, maybe just a little on my nose. Just a little teeny of a glow. So all very, very natural, blendable, nice. Okay, we may use this as highlighter. All right, so <clears throat> now I'm going to introduce you to my new friend. This is the Wet n Wild um, Shadow liquid eyeshadow now they had as you saw in my shop with me video bling 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 was everywhere i was like where's a mat where's a mat i found a mat this is it and off the grid is this off the grid is this color it's a very nice putty color this is the wet and wild liquid cat suit Okay, Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. And look at this color. My sister might like this. Is that beautiful? Woohoo! No bling, ladies. Nice doe foot applicator. Beautiful. Look at that nice taupey, creamy color. So, we're going to use this to conceal that beautiful hooded lid that I have. And I'm just going to put this on just directly, like. I'm going to put it on, actually, you know what, I'm going to put it on my whole lid, 
up to ooh they actually have a lot of control look at that oh, oh this could be this could be good this could be great for like a quick look you know you don't have time to do all the powder um you know to do all the ser well you see, see how long it takes me to do the other whoa And I'm just painting it on. <laughs> I am lifted because it's a beautiful taupey color. I mean, this color is divine. I, I want lipstick like that. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going, and I can feel it drying down. Now it's drying down, ladies. So before it dries all the way down, I'm just going to go in with my fingers and I'm going to blend this up into my brow area. So I'm going to so what you want to do with this one, this is what it feels like. It feels like it goes on cold and wet, but it starts to dry and you can feel it drying. So let it dry just for un momento. And then after you've let it dry just for a few seconds, then go in with your fingers and gently pat it up toward your brow and fade it. So you've got the dark here, but you're good. You want to clean up that line. See that? So it kind of fades upward. <gasps> this is pretty. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I love this. So far, so good. All right. I'm going to clean it up here a little bit on this side. The Kleenex, so you can do this with whatever you like. Look at that putty color. Oh, that would look good on anybody. I think if you have hazel eyes, brown eyes, green eyes, blue eyes. I think this color is mwah, perfect. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. I'll put it down in the description box below. It's drying right now and it seems to be staying. So we're just going to let that be. Now we're going to take just a little bit of our highlighter that we used, our LA Girl highlighter, and we're going to take uh, a brush. Oh, I hope I have a clean one here. Mm -hmm. Okay using a little brush here. What brush is this? Elf concealer brush. This is a little baby concealer brush. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this right underneath here. Oh, okay. You know, sometimes trying new products can be scary, but I'm telling you there is payoff sometimes. And I feel like this situation right now, I don't know how this is going to wear all day. I'll let you know in the, in the description box, how it goes tonight. I'll, uh, post the video and then at the end of the night, oh no, actually I won't be posting it till. So we're just putting this just under here, just for a little pop so that we get the uh, hooded lid to go back and this to come up. And then you know what, I'm gonna take a little bit of this just for fun and we're just gonna just do it here in the inner corner. <gasps> okay, this look is really looking good, you guys. Oh my God, I'm so happy for us, I'm so excited. We found an all cream look and this I think is universal. I think no matter what shade gray hair you have, no matter how old you are, I think this look will work for you. Yay. Okay. All right. So you put this on how you like it, as much as you like it, or don't use this step at all. If you don't want to, this, that cream shadow does its job. And uh, it looks like it's dried down. It feels a little tacky. It doesn't feel like dry powder. If you want to set it with powder, you can, but I'm going to keep my promise and I'm doing all cream. And that's that. All right. Taking a little bit of the bling off right now. Okay, good. I think I need a little bit more. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think I need a little bit more blush. Yeah. And this color, not my fave. I go for something more rose on the rose in the rose family, or something more in the champagne family, like the um, like the Milani. Something in that color would look really good. 
All right, what's next? A liner. Since we're not using powder, we have to actually use a liner, and I don't have one, so I'm going to use my taupe eyebrow pencil as my liner. Double duty. Just going to go the outer, outer to in, half, half lid. Going half lid with that. And you can put this just on top. You can put it on top and bottom. I'm going to go a little on the bottom because it's not a real in-your-face color. There. Looks good. Oh my gosh, it's like a nice, nudie, natural look. And it's all cream. It's shocking. Um, here's another product that I want to introduce you to that a YouTuber used and I went, whoa, okay, that's a good idea. This is the Essence Make Me Brow Gel Mascara. And this is a teeny weeny mascara with some color on it. And this is great for if you have some brow hairs that are gray and you want to just color them. So I'm going to put this in. And this is blonde. Interesting. I gotta clean up my brow a little bit because I don't know what happened here, but I like lost some of my created brow. I don't know what happened. Darken it a little bit. Better. All right. <clears throat> Where are we? We're at mascara step. Uh, the Almay uh, Multi Benefit Mascara in Black Brown. Now you'll see this, I'll do one side and you'll see what a huge difference this makes. Big, big, big difference. Oops. Schmutz. Try not to stick, I always stick, you don't want to see up my nose, no. And you can just put mascara on the top, too. You don't have to put it on the lower lashes. Let's just do top today. Since we didn't use powder, because oftentimes I find when I use powder makeup as a foundation or anything, it gets into my lashes and makes them um, more unnoticeable. You know what I mean? It kind of cakes up in there, and then... As a result, I have to put mascara on thicker and whatever to cut because the powder sits on the lash and it kind of, um, what am I trying to say? You know, you see how I powder my whole face? Well, that powder gets on the lashes and then diffuses the color of my, my natural lashes. And then I have to put more mascara on to bring back the, the contrast, you know. But <clears throat> since we didn't use powder today, my lashes on the bottom seem kind of dark, darker because there's no powder on them. All right, so what do you think? I may add another layer. <clears throat> oh, now at this point you could do falsies if you want to. Now this is seems like it's a very natural look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish out this look. Look at that dry down on that color. Isn't that a beautiful color? Okay, so that's dry now. It moves around a little bit, kind of like eyeshadow does if it was powder. Interesting. <clears throat> now we're going to put some uh, lipstick on. I've got a couple choices here. I use the, um, the Ulta Everlasting Lip Color in Rain. That's the pink. Then I've got my two top, top favorite colors for Wet n Wild. Um, this one is look this one is 983b never nude this is a nude color and I love it beautiful it goes a lot like with the blush and this color here is 560b secret muse these are my two top favorite of all time colors there so you got a pinky or and a neutral one 
Since we've gone very neutral on the face, let me go with this pinky one. Oh, let me line it. I'm going to use the Ulta Liner in Shimmering Mauve. This is a good liner too because it'll go with every color I just showed you. Oh boy, the leaf blower guy is back. You guys, sorry. I'm supposed to come during the week and they switched to weekends because of the holidays. Yikes. Can we ignore them? I'm sorry. Nothing I can do about it. Go away. Go away. Go, Go away. Oh my gosh. Go away. Go away. Go away. Okay, good. He's going away. Oh, hello. No. Go away. Okay. What do you think? Pretty. Oh my gosh, this look is so pretty. Go back in. Coat me again. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not going to coat me again because we were... So you can do... Okay, so let me take it down. Let me show you what we have. What we have, what we have. Fix my hair, fix my hair. <sighs> all right, we did it. We did it. We did the all cream look. All cream look. All right, what do you think? I'll come in closer. Nice cream shadow, cream blush, cream, 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 cream. <laughs> Creamy. No, it looks good. You know, I'm really happy with it. Okay, so in the mirror, okay, on camera is a totally different thing. Like when I look at myself on the viewfinder, it's like, it's pretty. Um, but in person, let me describe it. So, um, the eyeshadow is still kind of a little bit tacky, but I like it. It's really a natural look. I can see the love of the creams. I can see how these would work for someone, a woman who's older. Um, <clears throat> and like myself, I'm 52, you know, um, and as my skin ages, I might want to switch to cream because I might not want to emphasize things that I don't want to see, you know. So I really, really like it. Now, you could do falsies on this look um, if you want to. Um, I would consider this moderate makeup. It's not, um, it's not. Uh, I mean, you, you, you have some eyeshadow on and it's not, but it's not dark in your face. Um, it handles the hooded lid. Um, you know, it's a very, it's kind of a midway look. It's not totally natural, but it's not totally makeup-y, you know. I, I just feel really good. It feels good. It looks good and it feels good. So, uh, so far so good. We'll see how it wears through the day. And um, let's see, was there anything else? Oh, yeah, I was going to um, do some fake lashes, but I don't know. Should we do that today? Maybe I should save that for another video. I was going to try these uh, really inexpensive L.A. Luster Lashes, L.A. Colors Luster Lashes. Um, let's do one just for fun. Now, I could cut these. Looks like they have kind of glue on them. We might have to save this for another day because I don't know. I'm not very skilled at this yet. So we're going to save those for another day. We're going to do those another day. But for now, this is the cream look. Thank you so much for watching. Click subscribe. Can I even talk? <laughs> Click subscribe. Share this video if you'd like to share it with someone else. And um, as always, thanks again for your comments because your comments give me ideas and they inspire me. So thank you so much for watching and thank you for your comments and uh, have a great weekend. All right, bye.